One day, I always knew I would have to do this video. One day, I would have to take a stand against Disney and the crimes they have committed against us. Let's check it out. Here's more. I've often thought about the horrific crimes, the mind crimes that were played against me as I was a child. A young wee mind that could only grasp tiny concepts. I am the man you may know as Z from Our Views Will Kill You, and I'm here to talk about the atrocities that the Little Mermaid may have wrought upon us. I have the proof. I have the receipts. We're going to get into it. That's right. First, we're going to talk about Snopes. Snopes, you say? What does Snopes have to do with this? Was a phallus purposefully added to the artwork of the Little Mer Mermaid VHS cover? Rumor has it a disgruntled Disney artist sought revenge on the company by drawing a castle spire in the shape of a male organ. What? How? dare you and guess what snope says that this is false i saw videos going around on the internet telling me that this was false and i could not believe it i could not believe it but i have the receipts i have the proof and that's not the only disturbing thing we'll come back to this because i have irrefutable proof I may have it in my hands, but we'll talk about other things that popped up, popped up in The Little Mermaid as the new one's releasing. I hope none of these ever show up in any of the promotional materials or in the video or in the movie itself. Disney accidentally, accidentally, and they had to cut a Willy reference, a Johnson, if you will. A Huang. Apparently, you know, when the minister is marrying Eric and Ursula, I mean, don't get me wrong, Ursula is a brunette. A little bit of a smoke show there, am I right, folks? But it looks like the minister had a little bit of a... He was pitched a tent, if you will. Irrefutable evidence right there. They claim it's his knee. I've never seen a knee that excited before. Apparently, I it just it strikes me as odd, right? What happened though is that it's no longer you can't even see it anymore. It's been removed. It's been taken out. Perhaps you've also heard of the controversy of the cover of the Little Mermaid. Startling reference on the VHS original cover. There is a Huang. And Snopes claims that this is false. Snopes, I declare you liars. You are liars. You know why I know that you're liars? Because I have here irrefutable evidence in my hands. You must see this to believe this. If you can see this, folks, and I, I'll show you a little bit better. But if you look, see these spires? They all look like regular spires. See this one spire? In Dad, so I'm looking. I almost see two huevos there, too. It almost looks like two shiny huevos and a flagpole, if you will. Once you see it, I know it's shiny, and I know the camera doesn't pick it up that well, but it's here. This is worth like $10 million. Actually, I looked at it on eBay. I think it's worth $500. Either way, I was given this so that I could refute this Snopes article. Now, what Snopes is going to tell you, they're, they're just perpetuating false information, misinformation, if you will. One of the castle spires in the background, a Little Mermaid promotional artwork, bears an unmistakable resemblance to a member so much that so many people are unwilling to dismiss the drawing as mere accident or coincidence. Folks, I'm staring at I'm staring at this thing right here. 
I am telling you, seeing it firsthand, and it's 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 what it is. It's it is what it is. Trust me. <laughs> uh people are saying that it was deliberately drawn in a last act of defiance of a Disney artist who was miffed at Disney. Here we go. Here's a little bit of a blow up. You can see it a little bit better. See, it's right there. It's like it, it's dead in the middle. None of the other towers look anything like that. This one, it's looking like a shaft. It is. Look how excited Ariel is to see that shaft and Ursula and King Triton. The plain truth is that the resemblance between the castle spire is purely coincidental. What? That is a lie. If you see it in person, you can't unsee it. It is absolutely there. Don't forget, we have, this is the same company that when they gave us the Lion King and the kid, the two cubs, they jump in the in the pile of leaves together. They look up at the stars. It says sex. And don't forget about Aladdin. All of those things are real. They are not lies. The Disney company is trying to confuse you. He's claiming, apparently, that the artist rushed to complete the video artwork. The towers were very phallic to begin with. Uh-huh. He said he did it in the morning. He inadvertently drew one that looked pretty close. Pretty close, folks. It practically has veins. It is ridiculous. None of the rest of them look like this. And when you see it for yourself in person, as I have this evidence, not only, look, it's real. It's super real. Look at this. It's, oh my gosh. It's got the movie in. It's real. It's a, I don't even know if you could find a cassette player. I have my hands on history here, folks. History is real. Don't let them lie to you. Don't let them twist the facts. I am indeed holding a wang in my hands. Apparently, the <laughs> a later laser disc release of the film has altered the infamous spire. Ah, oh, that's pretty funny. I don't understand why they would say that this is it's not real. It just they say claim it went undetected by the general public for about a year while the film was in theatrical release. And then Entertainment Weekly ran a story. So how is this false? What part of this is false? The fact that they can't prove that the guy was disgruntled? I mean, it's clearly what it is. The artist is just saying, yeah, it's not what you think it is. It is. It is 100% what you think it is. So in honor of the Little Mermaid, behold the golden shaft that is there. We have the receipts, folks. It can finally be put to bed. It can finally be put to rest. If you want more evidence, groundbreaking evidence like this, let me know. We do enjoy bringing the truth to you. If you like it, please give us a like. Consider following us. We'd greatly appreciate it. We have a full-length audio podcast you can catch on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all of those places for free to you. We live stream here on YouTube, our home. Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're coming up on episode 299. Come and catch it with us. It's a very exciting time for us. In the meantime, enjoy this giant shaft. It's actually kind of small in this, but it's there. It's hidden, but it's real. I can see it with my own eyes. I have the irrefutable evidence. Thank you for sharing this with me, folks. But I am on to the next one.